Tom Johnson mentioned your commitment to the peace process and the fact that you, in 1973, along with your North Vietnamese counterpart, Lee Duc Tho, won the, the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, there are many who allege that you are a war criminal due to the systematic carpet bombing of Laos and Cambodia. Why was that bombing necessary to uh, our strategy in winning the war? Well, you know, uh, by now I'm in my 90s, so I, I've heard that sure. uh, I, I think the word war criminal should not be thrown around in the domestic debate. It's a shameful, it's a reflection on the people who use it. Uh, let us look, well, what was the situation? Sure. First, there was no carpet bombing. So that is absolute not, uh, not true. But the situation was as follows. In the Johnson administration, the North Vietnamese moved four divisions into the border areas of Vietnam and Cambodia on Cambodian soil and established base areas from which they launched attacks into, uh, uh, into Vietnam. Uh, and these divisions were put there in opposition to the uh, to the local to the to the Cambodian government. In fact, the Cambodian government told Chester Bowles, who was there as a representative of LBJ, that if we bombed those areas and didn't kill any Cambodians, that they uh, would close their eyes to it. The LBJ administration decided not to do this because they were already under pressure domestically. And for other reasons that Tom Johnson may know uh, better than I do. But then uh, uh, the, uh, when Nixon came in, uh, Nixon had already, just before he assumed office, sent a message to the North Vietnamese that he was eager to resume negotiations. In the third week of the Nixon presidency, they started an offensive in which every week uh, 500, up to 500 Americans were killed. And many of these attacks, more than half of these attacks, came from the areas uh, that were occupied by those four divisions inside Cambodian territory. And uh, after we had uh, suffered 1,500 casualties, nearly as many as we suffered in 10 years of war in Afghanistan, uh, Nixon ordered an attack on the base areas within five miles of the Vietnamese border that were essentially unpopulated. So when the phrase carpet bombing is used, uh, it is, I think, in, in the size of the attacks, probably much less than what the Obama administration has done in similar base areas in Pakistan, uh, which I think is justified. And therefore, I believe that what was done in Cambodia was justified. And when we eventually wiped out the base areas, the casualties went down by 80%. Uh, and so, those were the decisions, and I would bet that sooner or later any president would have had to do it because this is one that if you fight a guerrilla war and permit base areas from which the, uh, the killing units of the guerrillas are, are sustained, then you are in an 
absolutely hopeless position. Yeah. Those, uh, I was security advisor. I strongly favored it, but I was not the, because I was at such come in. But it doesn't matter. I'm certainly uh, was strongly supportive of it. It was correct, and it was in the American interest and the civilian casualties from this bombing along the five mile streak uh, uh, is, uh, was justified. We have to ask ourselves another thing. The argument against doing it was that Cambodia was a neutral country. But a country that has four divisions on, in its soil it's not actually a neutral country. And, and the leader of Cambodia, Prince Sihanouk, told the Johnson administration that he would, uh, in a way, welcome this bombing. When we then actually did it, there were press inquiries, and he told, said at a press conference, I don't know what goes on in the part of my country in which no Cambodians live and which is occupied by the Vietnamese. If any Cambodian is killed, or even a Bullock is killed, I will protest. Hmm. He, will, he never protested. 